After a great hog hunt, Bubba took us back to a place that I knew well. For one year earlier, this is what happened. A small fawn was coming through the timber, quite alarmed. I knew something was on her trail. Sure enough, here came Chester. And this time, he got just a little too close. this portion of relentless pursuit chances are something else is gonna get it for the show's over so I get this coyote up the hill out of here throw him in my truck and go back and see how Clint did If you follow relentless pursuit on Facebook I bet you recognize this picture and the question was did he survive? Well, here's your answer. When you call in the hawks, it's a good sign, for you know you've got all the wild critters fooled. So we're back in the same timber, only this time, locked and loaded with two full clips. And Bubba's wanting some revenge. And yep, we fooled Chester. Here he comes now. You can show your face. <laughs> I shot him. I shot the coat right there. Sure you did. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I was waiting for my him. camera man. I was waiting for him to take the first shot. And then I shot of course I shot high, which you'll see. He's wanting to kill some coyotes, and he called the right people. He called the killing crew. We're going to see if we can't get one. I don't know about killing. <laughs> We're going to try. He called the right people. He called the killing crew. Never seen them come in. Like. Yeah. We're trying to get footage. Kim said he wanted them close, and so I got them in close. Kim moves. <laughs> it's all okay. But I remember my first time running the camera as well. So I knew it would come in full circle back to me. I did something wrong. I knew it. Never failed. 